message and ask if you can help. We do not have an NG, so we are not going to be able to do the quest encounter for the NG homeworld sector, but that's okay. It's honestly not that important. Imminent destruction. Respond to the call. Move in to assist. And it is a Mantis ship assaulting a small NG space station. So we'll have to keep that in mind if they do offer a surrender offer that they are attacking an NG space station. If they ask us to turn the other cheek, we can't. But if they ask for their lives, we can. Theoretically. Maybe. Potentially. Uh, I wonder if we can, uh, like, take out their O2 system. Might take a while to kill them unless we start a fire or something, but could be nice. Yeah, there we go. Start a fire. Probably not going to be able to take out the O2 system unless we keep firing on it, but might as well give it a shot. They're not going to be able to put out the fire. At the very least, this keeps them busy. This keeps them remarkably busy. Good stuff. They're too busy trying to get other systems repaired. They will die. The ship is destroyed, by the way. The fire will destroy the ship, so there's no reason not to continue to assault them. We get a, another crew member. We get a NG. If only we had this NG a split second earlier, we would have been able to get that uh, encounter. That, uh, this beacon right there. We would have been able to get the quest line for the NG stealth cruiser and some hull repair and stuff like that. We get a gun. As soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have been interrupting their salvage operation because you find a weapon ready to be installed. A flat gun Mark I is wonderful. And in fact, I think we're going to use that right now. It fires at the same time as everything else. It's just a straight up upgrade. So, get some weapon power, get some reactor power, and now we have a flat gun. Might as well jump to two more beacons, then the store, then jump down to the exit, but I don't think we'll have enough time. So, unfortunately, I think we do have to just go now. Like, I think we can make it to the store, but I think we'll have to fight two rebel ships going to the exit, and I think that is not conceivable. I think we will die if that happens, so we are just going to move on. Drone control system with nothing else is pointless. Mind control system could be nice, but we, we really don't have anything that synergizes with the mind control. So I think we just save scrap, sell one of the basic lasers because we don't need it, sell the ion stunner because we don't need it. Get some hull repair, and maybe get one more engine power so that we can get the uh, extra dodge chance. Or engine capacity. We will reject their toll, no thank you. They will probably offer a surrender offer, so we will almost certainly not kill them. But now we can actually have the flat gun to help take down enemy shields. Basic lasers can go in there and do point damage when we when we need it. So right now, auto-fire the lasers. Excellent. And basically just don't touch the auto-firing system at all. Just let the uh, let them go. Should probably switch to shields. They'll get the repairing done on that first laser mark three pretty quickly but we should have enough time to do some damage to the, their other systems before they get a shot off there we go offline once again bit of an annoying encounter because we're not doing that much damage to their ship but there we go i cannot believe how well equipped your ship is please take this and let us live okay okay Jump ahead behind the exit, see what we can do. Nothing. Okay. I should be reading these encounters, because we need to know context to know if we should accept surrender offers. It looks like a fueling station of some sort is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices. Doc! You know what? War doesn't justify abandoning one's values. We leave it alone! We have morals in this run. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, 105 scrap. Distress. If possible, we will be going to Distress Beacons. Promise to help, we have an NG who can remotely repair it. We have a lot of scrap now. 
asteroid field. Your jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate in an asteroid field. They message you your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere. Okay, so. A Zoltan security ship following a Mantis pirate in an asteroid field. I... I guess we don't interfere. Because, politically speaking, a Zoltan security ship sounds... That sounds like it's an official, like, ship of the Zoltan Empire. Like, and we probably have agreements with the Zoltan, right? Now, Mantis pirate ship is a pirate, but they don't want assistance. They are not... They are saying, this is our job. You do not interfere. We have no reason to interfere. Being a Federation ship, you know, the Zoltan, this is a Zoltan sector, this is their territory. If they don't want us to interfere, we can't interfere. The Mantis aren't saying, please help us, this is a big misunderstanding, we're innocent. Unfortunately, I think we have to not interfere. Zoltan know their business better than most, best to leave them to it. You prepare to jump. You know, this is the whole, it's not our business. So, because we are a Federation ship, we have certain rules regarding interfering. They have not asked for our help. That's a lot of asteroids coming in. Holy crap, let's leave. What do we get? NG Escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates to refuse our all hails. Probably we are going to make friends after this. Like, oh, it's a big misunderstanding. Luckily, they can do literally no damage to me, so I have all the time in the world to attack them. It's going to be hard to actually get in some damage because of the Defense Drone Mark 1 plus Defense Drone Mark 2, but I think we can make it work. We just have to not miss with anything. Worst case scenario, eventually we will shoot down some of their uh, Defense Drones, because that's like three misses right there. That's, that's, that's too many misses. There we go. One point of damage to the shields. Not enough, though, unfortunately. We will have to do more than that. Maybe I should focus on engines or piloting? Or drones? Oh, maybe attacking the drone system would be good. But now that their shields are weakened... Well, not anymore. But now that they have no drones, I think we do just attack shields. Try to do as much damage as possible. They will bring their drones back online, but eventually their drones will die from random flag shots and stuff. There we go. Keep those shields down. Keep that NG busy. He will come back to life in the clone bay, but that's okay. He's dead. We started a fire. Keep dealing damage. Keep those shields down. Good, good, good. They only have one defense drone now. They're getting the repairs done. They did not offer a surrender offer. What the hell? You know what would be the worst is uh, not killing ships that don't deserve it. So like this ship having to retreat as part of the Federation Challenge run, I'm not gonna do that. I will not retreat unless I have to survive in order to, in order to do so. Just saying. All right, flak gun should do a number on the shields. Might as well go in on whatever, it doesn't matter. And then attack weapons. We should be able to knock out those shields pretty easily after the uh, super shield goes down. Okay, we're gonna have to send, we'll send the rock man in there to put out the fire. The fire. You can go into the med bay. Mantis, help put out the fire, please. Hopefully we can keep uh, the hull integrity intact. Don't let the engines actually be destroyed. Yes. They got their shields next. And they are not dead. Amazingly enough. All right, you get out of there. You're bad at repairing stuff. Let's send the uh, Zoltan in there. He's faster than the Mantis. They're dead. We get 33 more scrap. Can't spend it on anything, so we wait. And jump. Asteroid field? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, sure, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, 
We'll go to the asteroid field. Nothing. At least now I can upgrade. We will upgrade O2 engines reactor. A little bit more dodge chance. The oxygen means that if we get breached from a boarding drone or something, we can just power up the oxygen and keep us alive. We will attack the automated ship because it's an automated ship. And they have a combat drone mark too, which is very annoying, but we have a, a uh, envoy on shields. So hopefully the shields will be powered up very quickly. Ooh, come on, shields. Come on, dodge chance. Should definitely be attacking the drone now. <laughs> it's still online, but our shields are holding, thanks to the dodge chance plus shield recharge rate. There we go. Now that drone's offline. So we should be fine. Take out their shields first. And hit them in piloting. Why not? Okay. Is this just going to be another sensor station that gives us sector scans? I'm not going to complain. Nope, just a healing burst. So that's something that we're going to sell. We might as well go to the store now and then jump out of the nebula from the top. And this is more like it. Back of battery plus hacking, hull laser, heavy laser, Zoltan shield bypass, automated reloader. Healing bomb's gonna be sold. I think we buy the hull laser and I think we buy the heavy laser because it's too damage when every everything else lands, like the shields go down. Instead of a basic laser for one damage, we have a heavy laser for two. And a hull laser just because the more lasers we have, the more enemy shields we can bust through in one go. We can also get an automated reloader for faster firing rate, which honestly we might as well do. I think we definitely get the backup battery. I think we definitely get hacking with 15 drone parts. Hacking will allow us a much easier time against most phases of the Rebel flagship fight. And we have a flak gun, so we can use the flak gun to allow the hacking drone to land, because the flak, flak gun can act as a smoke screen for the second phase of the Rebel flagship fight when they have a defense drone. So, we get hacking. Now we don't actually have enough money for everything, so I think we just... I think we do get the whole smasher laser. I think we do. Unfortunately, it takes a long time to charge compared to everything else that we have. Let's not. Let's not. Let's save the money. Let's save the money. We'll upgrade the hacking system a little bit, get that up to maximum level, and then we'll go from there. Could have gone to the other store, but that's okay. In fact, maybe I should have gone to the other store before I uh, upgraded the system. Whatever. Like right now, for instance, why not attack those shields, hack them down, fire everything we have at their weapon system, try to take their weapons offline, take that missile launcher offline. The missile launcher looks like it's still online, unfortunately. So, flat gun first. It actually might not be online, which would be good. But no, it's, it's, it's still going. There we go, now it's offline. But yeah, like, hacking, hacking part's okay. And that should be a pretty easy way to finish this combat off. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Oh, O2, oh please. We have the bag of battery. Don't forget about that now. That's going to be very important as we keep moving forward here. Personally, I'd have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, and I have no use without a war to fight. Well, at least he's honest with himself. Maybe I should attack them in weapons and then focus fire the weapons, but I, I like the idea of attacking shields. Our weapons fire so quickly that I think this gives us the best bang for our buck. Might as well back a battery to O2. Hack those shields down, hit them in the weapons before they have a chance to do anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, that works. Now they they're I mean they're definitely gonna get stuff repaired pretty quickly, but not much we can do about that, unfortunately. They're gonna surrender, we have to. The fact that they give us an augment is really nice though, because an FTL jammer is really nice. <laughs> Allow us a greater opportunity to kill enemy ships before they can escape. If they don't try to surrender. Again with the weapons licenses. Come on. Ooh, and the mind control too. Okay, this is going to suck a little bit. It's a level 1 mind control. They have a lot of Zoltans aboard my ship. Uh, basically just auto fire everything to take out. The, actually not auto fire. Just fire once to take out the super shield. We'll try to kill as many Zoltans as we can. They're going to be attacking our door system. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that, really. I mean, I could send my crew in there to, to attack them, but the, we'll just be attacked at the same time. Yeah, I, we, we let them attack the doors. Whatever. Their crew will die and explode. So just be wary of that. Uh... The shields are still online. Okay, now we leave, get into the med bay. I need the pilot to stay where he is. We almost lost a crew member there, unfortunately. Why are they in the O2 room? Why did they leave the backup battery room? I don't know. But the mind control wore off. They fired a missile at us. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to stop that, and hopefully it doesn't land in shields or med bay because my crew will die. It's not gonna land in shields or med bay. It's gonna land in hacking. That's okay. It's also not a Hermes. It's only, a, or it's not a, a breach. It's only a Hermes. That's okay. It's probably better. Shields need to be online. I don't know why they weren't. Okay. Mantises, Wait, who's going, to... you're going to attack that? That's fine. Mantis, go attack this Zoltan. Okay, okay, okay. Weapons ready to go. Flak, fire. Basic lasers, go. It's going to take a while before we can bust through the uh, their shields and take out their weapons, unfortunately. we got to kill the remaining Zoltan and then get our stuff back online. Get that hacking system online so we can hack their shields or their weapons down, one or the other, honestly. Even if the missile hits Rebecca, they will survive. Hitting the door system? Perfect, as far as I'm concerned. Buy me some time. Get stuff repaired, please. You can help with the repair there. Get the auction online. Open all doors. We can't. Mind control the engine personnel. Don't care. Weapons are hackable now to level two. Hack those down. If we kill crew, it's accidental. It's incidental, I should say. Not accidental, but I, I gotta kill them. I gotta keep them down. You know what? Stay here for a second. No, 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 no. You, you stay here. You man the system for a minute. Let's see if we can take out their clone bay now. A bunch of their crew are dead. Let's keep them dead. Okay, they're gonna stay dead. They have no one trying to repair the clone bay. There must have been a fire in the room. They will still mind control us, but as long as their weapons stay offline, we're fine. They put out the fire in their weapons room, so we're gonna have to attack them in their weapons room. Missed all of our shots, dang it. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, as expected, there was a fire in the clone bay. Can we actually, like, land shots, please? Like, we need to s kill these crew, maybe start a fire in that room. But for some reason, we're not doing anything. Their dodge chance is just barely big enough with that one 
guy at 1% HP. There we go. We get enough scrap to make that worthwhile. We took a little bit of damage from that missile, but that's okay. With 108 scrap and no store in sight, I think we do get the hacking system upgraded to max. It means that we might not be able to get the weapons upgraded should we find a better weapon in the future. At least not immediately, but with the hacking system with 14 drone parts, I think we're fine. All right, everyone, everyone in the right rooms? Yes, okay. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them. We have to make the, the, the trade. I would make this trade anyways. We have to make the trade because that's one of the conditions of the Federation run. You have to, the Federation morals run. You have to make surrender offers and trades if you can. And it literally won't kill you, so. 59 scrap exit. Kind of want to save scrap right now and get some hull repair, fuel, and a weapon on the next sector. Examine the station. 22 scraps. Get the O2 powered up and jump to Mantis Controlled. We're strong against against boarders with eight crew members. Two of those are Mantis. So I feel like this is okay. And we will try to, uh, again, find a store, repair, get fuel, send the crew. Fen is gone. Fen was the pilot. That's actually not that bad. We do have a replacement pilot in Charlie or the Envoy. I feel like having the Envoy be the pilot would be the better call because they have a better piloting skill. Unfortunately, they also provide free power. So we have to, uh, I feel like we have to leave them on shields, but that's okay. We can just send over the Rockman. The Mantises can man the sensors room and basically nothing of value was lost. Sorry. Forgot, forgot your name already. Pang? Mang? Oh, so many mantises. Well, this basically means that we uh, flee into the med bay and we just wait it out. So open all doors, close out the med bay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's people. I guess you should go in there and you should go in there. You guys should keep going. There we go. One of the mantises will walk into the shield room, but that's okay. Freaking Christ, Rockman, you're so slow. All right. Might as well get everybody back up to full health while we wait, including that human walking around in the med bay right now. There we go. Annoying encounter, but ultimately meaningless. Easy to deal with. Yeah, the big problem with having the Rockman pilot is that it takes him a long time to walk around, but ideally that's not going to happen very often. Asteroid field. I think... I think we're okay with this. Ooh, the mind control level 2 does suck. But as long as we can keep him from destroying the sensor's room, it's not that big of a deal. I think we do hack. I think we do hack, and I think we hack shields. If we can take those shields down, then we can do a lot of damage to their, uh their weapons before they fire that burst laser. And as long as we hit them before they fire that burst laser, we're good. So keep them occupied. Might as well back up battery, some power. Fire everything we have at their weapons. There we go. And now we're pretty much good to go. Send them into the med bay. I didn't need to auto fire there, but that's okay. In fact, let's just turn auto fire on so I don't have to keep turning it off. Flak on shields. Mm, not good enough, but that's okay. Again, we're just kind of waiting on the uh, hacking system to come back online. It will last long enough that we can send in a, another few shots. That's not a problem at all. Here we go. 48 scrap. That's a decent amount of scrap. I feel good about that. Uh, we don't need to hire anyone. Another NG might be good, but this is uh, ultimately not that important. And we can we can say no. You know, hiring a crew member, that's entirely in our discretion. Nothing says that we have to. Now this scares me with the number of missiles that they have. I think, again, though, we just hack them immediately. 
take those shields down, basically auto-fire everything we have at their weapons. Now they boarded us again with a couple of mantises. We can deal with those pretty easily. They should retreat anyways. They might get a missile off, but there's nothing I can do about that really. So auto-fire everything we have at their weapon system. Not enough to take the big missile launcher offline, and one of our basic lasers is now dead. That's okay though, that's okay. Engie can go help with the repairs. I should have had the dodge chance up 5 more percent, that's my bad. Go back into the med bay please, get the med bay powered up with the back of battery. Flak. Burst laser, or basic lasers. Did a little bit of damage, but that missile is still coming. Well, everyone get back to your rooms except for the mantises. Where's that missile gonna land? It's a breach! Engines! That means... That means you get you get healed right the F now, please. We'll open up all doors just to make the repairing easier. Send in the... Well, wait a sec. Boarding us again. Mantises can go deal with that. Flak, go. Basic lasers, go. Another missile coming in at us. Hack. Unfortunately, it was only a level one hack because they hit it with a missile. That's okay. They left. Everything good to go. Yes, guys, go get healed up. We're almost dead. But hopefully we can take out their weapons. There we go, finally. Take out those dang missile launchers. It's like the worst case scenario that we had there. Two missile launchers just going to town on us. Okay. Maybe take out their dodge chance a little bit. Yep, piloting's out completely now. Go back to your rooms, everyone, please. Now we have sensors, we can see what the hell's going on. They have a mantis doing the repairing. Perfect. You guys are so dead. I should have been focusing on the weapon system just in case that happened, but that's okay. Took a lot of damage there, but not really much I could have done about that except hack their weapons instead of shields, but I felt like hacking shields was the most important thing to do there, just so that we could actually get in as much damage as possible. Automated reloader. If we bought the last one, we would have had two. I do think we get one. Firing faster is always good. Buy the fuel. Repair. And move on. Should get one more reactor power so I can keep that powered up to full. And pretty much from now on, all of our combat's gonna be with this hacking system. Like right now, probably hack their weapons. Unless they fire the missile first. Which they will. But you know what? I still think we hack weapons. Maybe I better, I should have been doing that uh, from now or not from now. Maybe I have. Maybe I should have been doing that all the way up to now. But I don't know. Flak. Basic laser. Try to take out the missile launcher. That's the whole. That's the you know primary reason why we need to attack them in weapons. Still, we can fire very quickly. So keep firing. Yeah. There goes the cloak. Ever go back to your rooms. They will fire off another missile, nothing we can do about it, unfortunately, unless they ha unless they cloak for a long time. But no, here comes the cloak. They fired. Yeah. It was close, it was very close, but they, they fired before I could do it. Just trying to just trying to deal with that missile launcher first, because if we can take out the missile launcher, then it doesn't matter how long we take on the fight. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, that's okay, it's gonna happen. We we have basically no mis proper missile defense. We have the hacking system, but that ship had a cloak. Uh, we will jettison the pod. No, we have to pry it open. It's an escape pod. We get a human out of it, okay. I, I, I thought about it and I realized our morals dictate that if there's a you know if there's a, a an escapee in that pod, we have to open it up. We don't know the dangers. It's just an escape pod. 
Hey, how did this happen? Let's open it up, see what happens. Advanced med bay. And go to the distress beacon. Luckily, we didn't lose a crew member, because you can just lose a crew member by doing that. It's a pirate ship. Let's try to dislodge it. And we did. Now, 151 scrap. Let's get a... Let's get a door upgrade. You know what? No, let's save. Let's just save scrap. We need, like, a cloak, a defense drone. We need something. Intruder on deck. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck! A young mantis in shard uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal, offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. I mean, I guess we just offer up the mantis in exchange for the bounty because A, we have a full crew, but also, like... Sanctuary from the NG. The NG are our allies in exchange for the prisoner. It doesn't say... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the NG just want the survivor. I don't think they're going to kill him. I don't think they're going to torture him. I think they just want the survivor. They want information or something. They want to try him. That's what I'm thinking. I, nothing indicates that this is an NG security ship, an official ship of the NG Federation. Federation, you know, whatever. I think we just side up the... Uh, side up. We, <laughs> we offer up the Mantis in exchange for the bounty. I think there's not necessarily a Federation-appropriate decision here to make. They, they don't say they want to kill him. He just wants Sanctuary, and we have no reason to trust him. So I think we just offer him up. We get 53 scrap. We transferred the prisoner. It's their, He's their responsibility. Responsibility now. And we will continue on to the exit and jump to Sector, whatever the heck this is. We will trade. We have to. Not only is that a good trade, but part of the requirements of this run is that we have to make those types of trades. And I think we do go to one more beacon. We can easily get one more uh, engine power. And with the hacking system, we should only be able to get hit by the ASB if we get very unlucky with its fire timing. Local sensors pick up two, sh two ships engaged in a heated battle. It seems the Mantis military ship will surely defend its defeat its prey. Aid the civilian ship. It says civilian ship. It doesn't say aid the rock ship or the slug ship that are just battling each other. It says aid the civilian ship. So I am going to defend the civilian ship. Not today. Not today. Three bars of shields. I think we hack... Weapons? If I hack shields, I can get shots in on the weapons. If I hack weapons, then I still have to penetrate the shield. I think I hack weapons. No, I... I think I hack shields. I, I went back and forth, but I think I hack shields. We'll start the hack immediately because it'll last forever. Send my mantises to attack their mantises, and as soon as their shields go down all the way, auto fire. It's a Hermes, so we do need to take it out as quickly as possible. We started a fire, did some damage. That's good. It's not gonna fire anytime soon. Bomb in an empty room with the NG. Get out of there! And their weapons are completely offline. Good. Try to take out their shields, piloting and engines, I suppose. We'll send our mantises into the med bay. Yeah. Can't really penetrate their shields with what we've got, but that's okay. They'll slowly get their weapons online. We have plenty of time to uh, deal with them. Started a, na a nasty fire, which is very nice. They might try to board us with their crew in a minute to try to escape their ship, because it's so on fire. Should I do something like this, I suppose. We'll get the hack in. With the automated reloader and 10 second weapons, we have plenty of time to get our weapons powered up in between a couple of hacks. Contact the civilians. One offers to join your crew. I guess we accept and we get rid of someone else to take the mantis. I mean, if we decline... Let's decline the request. I, I want to know what happens. Nothing. Okay. 
I know, I know that now. I mean, there's no Federation option there. It's just there was a ship they offered to join. We don't need it, so we said no. I'm going to upgrade the engines. Sounds weird, but we have the scrap for it. Why not upgrade it? That way we can get out of this next encounter super quickly. And we will probably just hack their weapons. Keep their weapons down for as long as possible, and then we'll leave. No reason to destroy the ship. Wait for the missile launcher to be almost ready to fire. Flak is good. Basic lasers go in. We can't penetrate the shields with the uh, Flak missing most of its shots, but that's okay. And we leave. NG, or rock. NG. Rock controlled sector means rock ships, means missiles. And we do not have proper missile defense, so I think we just go here and we make do. Do you want to go to a store? We do need a better gun at some point. We only have a flat gun and three basic lasers. Listen to their problem. Found malfunctioning mantis believes it's human will receive input only from human. We will send in a human then. We return him home. We ask if they can take a look at the engines and they upgrade the engines by one. That's 120 scrap value. That is ridiculously, ridiculously good. It's not that necessary, because I probably wouldn't have upgraded the engines anyways, but that's when you want to get that encounter, if you're going to get it. When you have seven engine power already. Search for the ship. 50 scrap. Save scrap, go to the store, buy a gun. That's what's important right now. Explain that they're friendly. Or we're friendly, because that's the Federation thing to do. We are going to be able to make it to the store with a decent amount of scrap. Promise to help. NG crew. Had no combat, and yet every single jump has been very, very worthwhile. No missile defense. We could use the anti-drone. I don't think it's that important. Uh, there's no weapons, so I think we get the shield charge booster, because it will help keep us protected against drones. And I think we do get the mind control system. It will counter third, third mind control, and also we can use it on the Rebel flagship fight to help kill crew and kill systems, stop repairing. If nothing else, it gives us something to dump scrap into later. I think we get rid of the FTL jammer right now. And we keep jumping. Hope that we can pick up a gun. 